Hi there, Hamza here from Theme Location. In this video, we will be talking about how you can add some content before Add to Cart button or after Add to Cart button. So with that being said, let's get started. Normally when we want to make some changes, we go to Appearance, Theme Editor and we deal with Style or CSS or Theme Functions or Function.php depending on the type of changes we are looking for. Well, the changes we are going to implement in this tutorial can be done using implementation in theme by pasting the code in theme functions as well. But we would not be using this method because when you update a theme, all the changes in theme functions are gone. So to keep your changes safe, we would recommend you to use a plugin named as theme customizations. I have previously made a tutorial about how to use this plugin. I would be leaving the link of this plugin in the plugin and uh, the tutorial of this plugin in the description below so with that being said let's get started all you need to do is to go to plugin editor and i have already installed and activated this plugin theme customization you would be required to install and activate before going to plugin editor as you can see that i am in the plugin editor from there you will get a drop down on the right side select the plugin theme customization and tap on select well we are in theme customizations it gives us the file custom.js function.php and style.css well we are looking to deal with function.php in this tutorial so we will be clicking on function.php on the bottom of function.php you would be required to piece some uh, to paste some piece of code firstly we will implement the first code snippet that we have on our blog and update it it's updated now I'm going to reload this as you can see that the content has been added after add to cart button the second part of tutorial uh, our tutorial was to add the content before add to cart button for that a similar implementation would be required but in the but this time you would be required to paste this code both of these code are available on our blog themelocation.com slash blog and I will be leaving the link of this particular blog uh, in the description below. So I've just copied this code. Let me close this one because this is theme functions and we are not using theme functions in this tutorial. So I will update it and will reload. As you can see that custom content and place your content here has been added which were mentioned custom content and place your content here in the in the codes if you want to add any other content just change this place your content or custom content with the text you want to add so that's all from this tutorial if you need any other technical assistance regarding WordPress or WooCommerce feel free to contact us via our blog themelocation.com our technical experts would be happy to help you at very reasonable price.